Hey, how's it going? I'm Spiderberger. Okay, welcome to the first practice pigeonhole. Today isn't one that I'm going to have too much trouble with because I'm doing men and masculine people. And for the most part, I'm okay at drawing them. I just don't draw them that often. So the, the point of this one was to get into the habit of doing it more often because if you've seen the first character design cubby, you'll probably notice that all of the ice cream flavors turned people uh, women or just people assigned female at birth because that I don't know that's just what I drew and then I realized afterwards oh okay I should practice so yeah that's what this one is today we got some different body types going on here in the sketch phase this is using references off screen just to help me get a handle on what is it I'm drawing how I should draw it where I have trouble drawing, if I have any trouble, uh, different clothing, different facial structures, different body types. I didn't really do too much this time around because, you know, I have a pretty good grasp on what I'm doing this time. It's more just a refresher, but, you know, I think I did alright here, you know, little sketches here and there. <laughs> um, I just saw the, um, the upcoming stereotype, body type lovely uh, but yeah that's about it for the sketch phase you know just doing roughs with references Okay, so this next part is a bit more clean than the sketch phase, but it's not very clean, so don't, please don't expect good line art. This is not going to be a magnificent piece of artwork. This is just the design rough phase, where I figure out what I want to draw in the final phase, where I actually do have like a proper design and drawing with posing and yet another gradient background, because I haven't practiced those yet. That's coming up. So I'm trying to figure out the design for the person that I'm going to draw in the final thing. That's basically just it. I'm, I'm doing just a rough character design. I don't really go into too much planning here. I mainly just do one design and try and figure out basic body shapes and the colors I'm going to use. Uh, I think I was in a bit of a rush when I was doing this. I had things coming up, so I had to get it done pretty quickly. I didn't have a lot of time to do different people and figure out which one I liked more, so I just did the one, tried to figure out everything I could about him as soon as possible, and then, you know, once I'd figured it all out, I started the final design. This rough design is pretty basic for the most part, you know, I didn't give him very many distinguishing features. Uh, he's got freckles, I can't remember if that's in the final design, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I just gave him like a very patchy jumper and some cargo shorts and some runners and socks because I'm not really much of a fashion designer, which again, clothing is something to add to practice pigeonhole. So yay, more videos. That's fun. Yeah, the design's not much, but I like it. I like what I came up with. It's simple enough that you can read it easily. You could recognize this character if he was like an important character somewhere, I think. And I got a good red-green balance in the color scheme. I like it. What I was really going for with this character, I think I named him Tim for just a lack of a better name, but it kind of suits him. Um, I didn't want him to be like overly stereotype masculine. Like I didn't want him to be big and bulky. I didn't want him to have that kind of Johnny Bravo triangle body shape. And I didn't really want him to have like overly masculine features because even though I'm practicing drawing men and masculine characters you don't need to like stereotype it just to get across the fact that they're masculine so I hope that kind of reads easily you know he's not too masculine but he's not feminine either and he's not really androgynous I, I think I did okay with this one
Okay, this is the final drawing that I did for this video. This is the one that's got proper line art and colouring and everything and shading. This is the one that's going to be much better quality than the little practice sketches earlier. So here I've got Tim. You can see I used a reference this time around. You know, I, I made the mistake of not using them and character design cubby and the poses turned out bland. So I'm using a reference this time. I believe I used Sketch Daily, the website, to get this one. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. And I really liked the way that this pose turned out, actually. I think it works really well for the character. I'll probably have to do an actual prop for him to lean on next time I do a pose like this though, you know, that would make a lot more sense. I am very happy with how this drawing turned out, both because I got a pose that actually looks good, the character looks good, you can tell that it's the same one from the reference, uh, the clothes work. The only thing I'm disappointed with is probably the background, but that's just because it's a bland little gradient as I usually do with my backgrounds because I am unoriginal. But other than that, everything worked out really well with this drawing, you know, I got the line art pretty good, the shading ends up really good, the colours work very well. Most I have to fix up is just the background, uh, once you guys can see it you'll probably know what I mean. And an actual prop next time for him to lean on instead of just the box that I drew because I think that kind of takes away from the moment a little bit but I, I think I was in a rush this day you know like this took me about 50 minutes which is pretty good for me but you know I had places to be unfortunately. So for the first ever practice pigeonhole I am very happy with how things turned out. I didn't do as much like sketching as I would have liked to have done, but again that's mainly just because like I have an idea of how to draw what I'm drawing already this time, it's just that I don't draw it very often, so I wanted to practice. Practice pigeonhole, you know, that's the point of this series. There's going to be other times where the things that I'm drawing I have not drawn before, so it's probably going to take me many, many sketches to get a good idea of how to draw it before I actually move on to a final design. But as for this one, you know, it's a pretty good start. I think I did an alright job. I did a pretty good job designing Tim. You know, Tim's, Tim's good. Tim's a good lad. And the final piece did turn out pretty good for my standards, especially considering this is a somewhat new style to me. I haven't done very many poses, and this just entirely turned out so much better than I thought it would, likely because I did the practice beforehand, so you know. If you are an aspiring artist, try your best to draw stuff before you draw it, if that makes sense. I'd... God, I'm sorry. <laughs> None of this makes any sense at all. I hope this can be kind of helpful to people, because I know from personal experience that People just say, oh, just practice, but they don't really explain that you should probably use references and that even after you use references, you still need to practice on your own after that and you need to do a whole bunch of stuff just to get a whole good idea of what you're drawing. People, ju people just say practice. They don't specify. They don't give you tips on how to practice. So it makes it a little bit hard. So hopefully this can, like make that a little bit easier for any of you who maybe have the same issue. I don't know. Alright, here's Tim. Tim's nearly done. There we go. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.